Max, it's finally great to link up, bro. Um, thanks for joining us today. Um, how are things with you at the moment? Well, everything all right, you know. Just I go and put in the work as usual. Don't know. I've to do that, so they say then. So, Max, right now you're making uh, an impact in dancehall. You know, your name is buzzing around. Um, take us back, though, to the start of your journey, because I think you're still a bit, a bit of a new name to some people. So t- tell us the, the Max story from the beginning. Well, Max story, you know. Um, music from start. When we start this thing of music, we we'll start, um, we'll start from like you know, 20, 30, right? Professionally, as you mean, we've been a voice with various, various producers and certain people and things. So, from them time that we start to the music, um, we take it up serious now as time fly past. We just do the right thing you now and mm-hmm. try to put in more work and so we can reap out of this music thing. You know? So which part of Jamaica is it you're from originally? Well, I'm from Portmore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Portmore, I don't know anything about other food. Mad. And who were some of your earliest um, musical influences growing up in Portmore? Um, influences like Alkaline, you know, you have Mega Bantan. Um, Abuja Bantan, same way, and list goes on you know mm-hmm. tell us about your first official recording um i think it was fire or li- life was the original fire album. Right, yeah. yeah life the song name yeah yeah my first 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 song made by voice tell fire us about right, that, that experience what was that like well for no say um you just start this thing and you're going to a studio and you go around the boat and a bag of people are watching and them thing they're kind of nervous in yourself, you know? Yeah, so. It was a walk up the stairs, you know? Kind of, kind of hard for one side, but true. You really want to do this thing, you just make it work. Mm-hmm. You, know, you just do the right thing. Was hundred percent perfect, but to make it work, isn't it? Me? So who, um, yes. how, how did you link up with with Fire Royal to begin with? Well, you know, Fire Royal, he was like a producer in the community. Shubo young talent, so we just work with him, link with him, and work with him. Said we do mm-hmm. And at that mm-hmm. point, were you um? Were you sending out like how how were you approach were you approaching producers or did he approach you or how did that did that work? No, actually we just start the music we just start the beer songs and post them up and put them out and them time the producer we link with and thing and tell me some bad and we need for work and so forth is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just the work we put out and them see it and want work with the said we. And what was the reaction in your community to your to your music when you first started singing the first few songs? Well, the reaction of, them, of my people, them, and them love the youths, them when they want to try for do something good, you know. So them did them did kind of happy for me, you know. Mm-hmm. Most of them kind of happy for me and love to see what me I do and them push me more to the music, you know. I'm telling me so I can do it and encourage me as it. Well. Mm. So you recorded mm. you recorded the first song with Fire Rule. Um, what was the reaction to that song like? T- talk us through that that um, period after that recording. Like, what was the transition? All right, after my voice that song there, and then um, I think I think it was just like a community thing, a stage show thing. You know, where, where we just got perform and them thing. They wanted to put out the song them in a store and them thing. Cause that was my first song, so it never going on the stores and platforms it just they in the community I play. Mm-hmm. You see me and people know me half of that song there and we just start learning the thing more and more and love the thing more. So I just they said there was a community song, you see me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah from this so when we voice the first song there from after that now we just start putting the work. We start putting more work. Start master the craft more, you know? Teach mm-hmm. yourself. And at the start of this year, um, 
I think that's when a lot of people really got to know you through your song with um, Alkaline, Star Captain and Sashi Cool Riches. Yeah, that's um, Riches. Tell us about the making of that record. How did that all come about? Uh, riches. Um, one day, one day, we're there and just go and chill. Cause you know the DJ, the DJ is a different type of species, you know, so. <laughs> the man they forward with idea like nothing, you see me? So one day we're there and thing and go on easy. I made the one ready man thing and the DJ link with. Separate and apart, you know? Each one of him link, him link the whole of you. One, one and one him link with and thing and him link me and say for chop up a verse, you see me? Yeah. So I just chop up my verse and thing. Which at the end of the day, we never know where I'm really a plan still. Mad. You see, because so them man they go to work, you know, man. So did you had you heard, so did you hear hear yeah? part on the on the song first? No, I never hear him part. Wow. You see me? Cause so them man they go to work, you know, man. I go so woman chop up my part and make him know say I'm a finish and thing and thing and. One day, him just link me out of blue and say, yo, link up my studio. Go say, link up my studio. It's like the song did already done and I wait for my verse. You see me? So, so, so we just link up and just do things, man. You see, to just write a song, them, a verse them or whatever we write and we link up and get things done. Mm -hmm. But the DJ um... idea them ever six, so a different type of thing, eh? And was he, was Alkaline in Jamaica at that time? Was he in the States or what, what was he doing? No, he never in a Jamaica at them time there. Mm -hmm. After the G4 would in, is he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So before that, had you been working with, with Alkaline on any music or like, did you have any kind of um, conversations on that musical level? Yeah, we always have talked about music, you know? Mm. I always I talk about music on a level, so I just time do everything because we have a lot of work I forward to. I just time do it, you know? Mm, I really know. And having someone like Alkaline, you know, to, to look up to, like what sort of things have you learned from him or what type of things does he um, try and teach you, you know, as, as, as a younger artist? Well, Alkaline... Inspire me, you know. It inspire me a lot. See, because you might do it big. One of the biggest things them out there right now. So me knowing that and she said I'm a part of the family. It just push me for go harder, you know me? So it inspire me a lot. Only for great things, you know? Mm -hmm. mm. And is he um when you speak about music, do you ever ask him for like advice or tips or stuff like that or like how, how does that work uh, i ask him for advice sometimes but not all the time you know mm. if my, if me a bill a song and you send it to him before it release and say bro you like this or cause you like this and then we tell me say you know say this could i do better this could i go higher you know mm. yeah and give you certain tips on the song them and certain advice said we still so tell us a bit more about Star Captain and Sashi Cool, um, who were also featured on that Riches track with, with you and Alkaline. Young Guns. Yeah, man, Young Guns, man. You know the thing, bro. Them, them, them in the studio, they said they were me in the studio, too. You see it, so. But them actually did put on for them eight bar, for them verses already before me. Mm hmm Mm, so I just know when me put on my eight bar and thing and for all well, the reason and I talk about the whole thing. We so was that the first song. time was that the first time that you met or like did you know each other before? No, that? no, we know each other a long time before that. Yeah, but musically, first time that we in the studio record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that was really like the launch of the Young Guns in the Vendetta crew. Do you know what I mean? That was the real official kind of introduction um, to the Vendetta, you know, um, yeah, that, that's musical the journey. 
yeah. So um, yeah, that's the what, introduction. Yeah. What has that done for you since since that moment? Well, a lot of people know me, you know, since that song, you know. Because, you know, Alkaline is a worldwide artist and a lot of people um, fan base and certain things. Yeah, so a lot of people start reach out to me. And they actually like the verse I'm singing. They like the whole song, you know, but they like my verse too. So, a lot of fans, I get a lot of people that shout out to me and tell me, say, yeah, they like what I do and I continue, and, you know? Mm-hmm. It's a good look, man. Definitely. Good, good look. So I respect the man for that too, eh? Yeah, of course. And um, having that endorsement from Alkaline has obviously benefited you, but I think with with these sort of things, it can be easy to um, sometimes get complacent, you know what I mean? And you've got to really, you can't rely on that, can you, as an artist, to have that endorsement? You know, you've got to carve out your own fan base as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have, to, I have to build my own fan base. Yeah, which is right. So I that me have focus on cars. We have to have the fan base there, we have to build our own, as I say. We have to put out the music them for to gain our fan base differently. You know, mm-hmm. certain type of songs that we do. He may not love it, but a girl like that one day. And, you know, we mm-hmm. just try to put out the music. Then. And uh, over the last year, you've put out a lot of music. You know, your work rate has been very high. Um, is that something that you think you can continue? You know, that consistent output of songs? Yeah, man, we know not stop. We have a lot of songs of forward right now, too, as we speak. Mm-hmm. We know not stop. We just have to full up the place with songs, man. Every way you turn your And do you find that yeah, the more yeah. songs? Do you find that the more songs that you write and record, it actually becomes easier to write and record yeah. the next one? Yeah, yeah, more easier for me. Mm. Yeah, you know we have forgot harder than before. So, you know, you're still a relatively new artist sure. to the game. Um, what areas do you think that you can focus on to improve um, from from now on? Well, as I said, I focus on myself right now and getting out there more. Build my own fan base. You mm-hmm. see me? Yeah. Work with who I work with me at the end of the day. We don't try to forward in our business and try to look at the enemy at the end of the day. Understand? Where yeah, everybody could. Mm. So I just this so you see me. And how how does an artist like yourself go about creating a fan base? Because you know, there's so many artists in Jamaica competing for you know that fan base, that um that success. Like what what kind of things can you do as an artist to to help build that individual following? As we say, we're good with everybody, you know, so we just have to socialise with who I socialise with we. You see me? Um, respect who, respect we. We show the strength said we. We get the strength said we. You know, we take time to the songs them. You know, comments to people, we are coming to we. You understand? Because I saw you have, to, you have to work with the people and we have to work with you. So I just try to say them, man. Mm. And mm-hmm. you're in the studio right now. Um, what are you working on at the moment? Can you tell us? I'm working on a new project, you know, EP. Sick. Yeah, what yeah, studio, what studio are you at? I'm Black Spider. Can you show us around, or? Black Spider Records. Mad. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. How much of your time is spent at the studio these days? Like every day, you know. <laughs> producer them off the tired of me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, Chris said that. Like every day, man. Every little chance me get a nice studio them day. Mm. And what what do you like do you have um things that you drink and eat to, to keep you going in the studio? Like how do you keep going for those long periods of time? Yeah, man, I'm not a drinker still, you know, but now and then me go and beat my dragon and then we could soft drink them. Mm. But now one spliff now and then said, hey, it's not a thing when we do every day still, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But my, 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 my meds forward naturally. When I have to drink, when I have to smoke, it just forward naturally. 
Nice. Is me. Yeah. So have you had a chance to perform many of your songs recently? Obviously, with the whole lockdown situation, um, I guess you haven't had much of a chance to play out, really. No, we don't have most, most, much chance. Fever profile and them thing there because you, you don't know the place lockdown and thing. But if we get a chance to perform, why not? Would I go perform, of course. Mm. And I guess mm. that, that's another area where, you know, where building your fan base, which is essential really for building your fan base, is getting out there onto the streets um, and performing as well. Yeah, I make people see we said we, yeah. Mm. When I wear them for build a fan base, them said we are for real. Yeah, bro. So the EP that you're cooking up right now, when can we expect to, to hear that or see that? Very, very soon, man. Very, very. You're going to get it by this this year. Okay, sick. Uh, and have you got yeah, any, more, um, any more collabs with Alkaline coming up that we can expect to see? Yeah, man, I can look out for your next collab, man. Mm -hmm. Next collab I forward, man. A portion of thing I forward. Mad. And um, thing. what's the next song that we can expect to see from you that's dropping on your YouTube? Um, I'm going to drop a song next week, a video by Sponge, um, No Negative Vibes. So, yeah. So I'm going to drop that the 9th of this month. We look forward to hearing that, bro. And um, yeah, keep up the good work, fam. Yeah, man. I say, old man, Chris, I respect.